Happy March 20th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Shopping Simulator by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy bought 10 meal rations, and that's what happened. So, let's see what's on the calendar for us today. Aha! Okay, fun. You walk by a recruitment office where some willing critters for hire approach you to ask if you need any hired hands. Pay to recruit any that you can afford. Uh, so we could hire more than one if we want. You will head to the bug trainers next and may want to save some amber for another recruit. Um, we have 43 amber. Who do we have here? So uh, 12, 16, and 20 amber. We can afford everybody. Um, if we do that, we won't have any money for a pet, and I, I'm not inclined to, I'm inclined just to hire one, one critter here, <laughs> this frog, Archer. So we've got a frog, Archer. We've got a, uh, what, I don't know what you are. Are you some kind of raccoon? Um, uh, if anybody knows what, uh, it's a fox. It's some kind of fox, maybe, with this big tail. Um. Yeah, I'm going to go with some sort of fox creature, fire dancer, which is pretty sweet, uh, and a raccoon bard. Oh, look at their health. The frog has two, the fire dancer has three, and the bard has four health. Um, abilities. The frog is a bug tamer. We've seen bug tamer quite a bit here in the last week or two, I feel like. Um, and plus one attack, which is nice. Arcane Adept. I don't, I, I don't recall ever seeing that come up. Maybe once. Maybe we have to actually look <laughs> what these abilities do. I'm not sure. Um, Vinny adds stealth, if I remember correctly. Our Squirrel Swashbuckler. Plus one damage is nice. And the Bard is persuasive. We have Intimidation, um, but Persuasion would be nice too because we don't always feel like intimidating people um oh and the heal he can heal one point oh but wow <laughs> okay to heal um you have to draw a nine or higher and a heart and a face card is gonna damage the bards <laughs> oh you're if this activates uh, you have a pretty good chance of having it also damage the bard. So you're, you're exchanging, <laughs> exchanging life for life. Um, you know, th that's the issue with these. And this is going to be how I make my decision. Um, what am I trying to say? These are nice and everything, but there's such a small chance of you actually activating their ability and there's a there's a greater chance i think in general of actually harming them <laughs> when you try to activate their ability so you have to hurt your party members <laughs> if you want to help yourself uh statistically probably so and i just i can't get past that mechanic i don't uh something in it something in me uh yeah something in me recoils <laughs> this whole idea so um but we're gonna pick a party member maybe we'll never use their ability but i oh the bar i'm gonna hurt you to help myself i can't do it um i love the health of four i would I, the, that's the pro, health of two on the archer i'm never gonna i'm never gonna use the frog because i would hurt him once and then I you can heal them later, but I'm not gonna spend precious healing potions on these party members who have a minuscule chance of actually contributing. So I'm probably gonna go with the fire dancer because maybe maybe I'd use that the fire dancer twice, even though I have no idea what you are. I'm gonna call you a fox for now. Red tailed fox, maybe. Is that what you are? Red tailed fox fire dancer. Um, Arcane Adept is probably useless to me, and I may never use your plus one damage. Maybe I'm not buying any of these. <sighs> Alright, forget it. I'm taking the Frog Archer, because he's the coolest to me. <laughs> and I'm never going to use any of you anyway. So, 
Hop aboard, <laughs> Frog Archer. Pun intended. Um, where are you? Frog Archer. Oh, quest calendar. You're killing me some days. I think I think what I would do I don't like this um, deal where and it doesn't make sense to me thematically like why they would get hurt trying to help you I think I'd rather treat these folks maybe that's what we'll do I don't know I'm thinking out loud here's my here's my thought let me just say it <laughs> um where's the party sheet multitasking in the morning not not a good plan um Here's what I would do. I would treat these party members more as retainers that come and go. And uh, and give their abilities, you can actually, there's no chance of them failing. I mean, they're so minuscule. Plus one damage, come on. Um, one, uh, stealth, anyway. Um, I would give, sorry, so many thoughts at once. I would have them, uh, automatically succeed in some things um but then you can only use that thing once and maybe you check check things off over here and when they've done all the things they can do they leave um and so or maybe they have a selection of things they can do and you can activate their ability so many times and then they leave they, they take their hat and they go on their way because their job is done or something like that that's what I would do. I know that basically turns them, kind of turns them into a one of these consumables like Bronberry or something. But if they have a selection of things and you get to choose, uh, I don't know. That feels better to me than. <laughs> like I don't want to squeeze the lightning bug to for a chance to get plus one dexterity, hurt Disco, and have him die. I know they're not dying; they're leaving the party. But come on, anyway. Let's name our frog. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done ranting. We're going to be positive now. Um, frog. We've got a frog archer because, I don't know, I just like him. So let's uh, have the name chart here. Here we go. What's your name, frog archer? E Enid? Enid. Okay. I did not expect Enid. But, all right, Enid. One, two, three, four. Five. Willow, seventeen. Oh, we we could have been Willow Willow. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beak. Nope. Foot. There we go. Willow Foot. Enid Willow Foot. Let's try the first name again. Enid. I'm not feeling Enid. Enid. <laughs> All right. Um, Enid is uh, is assertive. Her name is Enid. <laughs> Willowfoot. Willowfoot. Enid Willowfoot. You will. Um, <laughs> you're safe here because I'll never use. Look, Vinny. We tried his ability once. It didn't activate. He took one health. Um, and now Vinny's just hanging out, getting us punched in the face. So, good, good, good golly. Is there anything on the back of here? Just the rules about how to use the things. Okay, all right, well, that, my friends, uh, is March 20th. So we shall say goodbye for now to Ivy and Vinny, the squirrel swashbuckler, and Enid, the frog archer, and Disco, the lightning bug, and Tank, the wise. We'll visit again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.